And where's my water? That's up there. I'll be fine. Press and record over here. Let me know if, if there any of the, we'll do the original Wu style set. <clears throat> so let me know if any of the exercises need to be adjusted for your, your back, but hopefully uh, you're feeling even stronger. Recording in progress. <clears throat> All right. Oh, let me pin this. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Okay. So, going to Wu style, Tai Chi, Neigong, Set, Yin Set. Imaginary string with yours on top of the head, warm up with some very relaxing Qigong, softening, really going into the the neck, scanning the neck, scanning each vertebra, and softening. All the way down. And I'm only using my hands again to illustrate the mind moving. And it, this can be helpful too. I mean, you, it can be helpful, especially like when we talk about uh, certain Qigong movements or, or meditation movements, visualization movements, where we wanna pull energy through the body, it can be helpful to use another uh, a limb or or multiple limbs to augment that sensation. But it's really internal travel. So the the mind going down each vertebra, all the way down, and softening the muscle around the vertebra. Inhale to the belly. See the color gather. The breath is a color, gather like a sun exploding or expanding, and exhale, wash down the palms, down the arms through the palms. <clears throat> Inhaling deep, exhale, washing down. Remember the hips should feel like a bowl of water. The entire torso should feel like it's gently placed in the hips. So the sensation of the bowl of water full to the brim that you don't want to tip over. So you want to balance it out. You don't want to spill anything. And then the sensation that the torso is that water. Balancing the hips, finding the alignment. Still giving the breath a color. Washing it down the arms and the palms and fingertips. And softening, keeping the mind going down to the knees, down to the ankles, softening the ankles. And then through the center of each heel and pushing the mind into the ground like a nail, which establishes the first of the three nails on the foot. Three visualized nails center of the heel, the ball of the foot, and the big toe. But we're only going to focus right now on the heel. Softening the hands, inhaling up. Exhale, wash. Breath, palms, fingertips. Inhale. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Stretching out of the hips onto the toes. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, even deeper, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Again, remember that these, there's also imaginary lines coming out of the hips, the hip lines, so when you allow the hands to fall down, just make sure if they touch that line, they might be a little too far back, meaning you might be creating tension in the upper back. So if you find yourself doing this, just soften enough to be either just in front of that hip line or a little bit more in front, just softening as much as you can. You wanna just reduce as much tension generated in the shoulders as possible in the upper back. Inhaling up, exhale, wash out. Stage one inhalation, inhale deeper, stage two. Even deeper, stage three. 
exhale, washing out. Inhaling out. Even deeper. Even deeper. Even deeper. Exhale, washing out. Belly, obliques, lower back, entire waist for each stage of the breath. Inhale using the belly, the lower dantian. Even deeper the obliques. Even deeper the lower back. Even deeper the entire waist expanding all directions. Onto the toes, stretching out the shoulders. Now that we've warmed up the muscles around the waist, let's try the entire waist for each stage of the breath. So it just ex keeps expanding like a bell. Everything going to the lower down chin. Stage one. Stage two. Do you feel the difference with that? Yeah. Yeah, so you're pulling a lot more air. Very intense. One more. Yeah, let's widen the stance. Half horse stance. Hollow fist rest it right on the hips. Imaginary string lifts you up. And as that string lifts you up, cascading relaxation down. Remember, it helps to soften the back, the tailbone. Weight mostly on the heels. Inhale deep. Exhale, pelvis rotates on the femur. Chest parallel to ground. Inhale, breath lifts you up to the side. Eyes on the belly button. Exhale. Exhale. And since in traditional Chinese medicine, this exercise is meant to help redistribute heat trapped in the chest cavity that might be caused by stress and recognizing that the, the chest cavity actually extends all the way to the back. I think it's valuable sometimes to put the mind on that idea and intentionally release any stressful sensations are caught in the muscles around the chest cavity, any heat that you feel that might be locked, just scan in this area around front and back. Obviously, our breath is continuing to go, visualization to the lower down 10. But as we exhale, just feel everything melting out, down to the ground, and then reverse it. One of the great things about repeating these exercises over and over is that we have these foundational concepts and then once we get a grasp on them, we can start to explore other concepts and just get new things out of the same movement. So I love, I always love that. Breathless the wrists, wrists lift the body. Exhale, washing the color of the palms of fingertips. Inhale, drawing the wrists in. And exhale, hands float down, softening the muscles in the back. Upper back, middle back, lower back, wherever the fingers are, that's where you're softening. Hip line, buttocks, backs and legs, behind the kneecaps, calves, ankles, heels into the ground. Two more. Exhale, wash the color out of the fingertips. Inhale, breath pulls the wrists in. Exhale, softening neck, upper back, 
middle back, lower back, hip line, buttocks, all the way down. And take a note here too that we're doing three, we're, we're, we're switching between three different types of, of uh, breathing experiences, breath visualization experiences. So we're exhale and the color's pushing out through the palms and fingertips. When that happens, the elbows are softening even more as if gravity's pulling them down, straight down, like you have weights on them. So you exhale and it's like a hose going out. Then when you inhale, we're switching to the pulley system. So we go from the color visualization system to a pulley system where the wrists are being pulled in by two strings connected to the belly. And then here, we're switching to the attention circuit. So wherever the tip of the finger is, that's where we're pointing to, that's the point on our back that we're acknowledging and softening. So we're using one point to reference and affect another point. all the way down. And all three of these systems can operate simultaneously. It just It's just like having broader shoulders to carry more weight. You know, so it's just, we'll do it one more time just to do our best to feel all at the same time. All these little expanded awareness experiences. Exhale out, inhale, gather, and we'll go to the first exercise, the 12 yin set. Golden tortoise, let me know how this feels. Pelvis rotating on the femur, keeping the back straight, eyes looking straight down, elbows in front of the eyes, weight on the heels. Back flat like a table, chest parallel to the ground, inhale to the belly. Exhale, wash the breath down the legs into the ground. Inhale deep. Exhale, wash the color down the arms through the palms and fingertips. Inhale deep. Exhale, wash the color through the lungs, strengthening the lungs. One more breath. And wherever you want to gain strength in the body, push that color. Inhale, open the hand. Exhale, reaching through the legs straight back. And then lift the collarbone and reestablish the posture, the flat back, with the back bends when you reach. Inhale to the belly. Exhale to the whole body, like a radar, scan the whole body. Expand the light through it, the color. Inhale deep, exhale, expand again. Scan for any tension, unnecessary tension. Inhale deep, and exhale, push the color to those areas. The shoulder blades disappear into the upper back. Inhale into the belly, six breaths, exhale. Push the color to the palms and fingertips. Inhale, draw the color in the soft part to the belly, exhale. Push down the hard part. Five more breaths. And then turn the palms up, inhaling up the front, exhaling down the back. Remember, slight tension in the anus, and the tongue on the ceiling of the mouth, mouth closed. The inhale up the front, just feel like a tidal wave rising from toes to the top of the head. Exhaling down the back, should feel like a waterfall going from head to heels.
Inhale, draw the wrists in. Exhale. Lower the hands. Inhale. Bring the hands to the small of the back. Make a diamond shape at the small of the back, the tailbone. And hold the breath. Swallow each saliva twice. Exhale, push the wrists. Color through the wrists. Wrists from the kidneys down. Softly lower back. Like a massage. Inhale. Right hand comes in front of the left. Over left. Pause. Right hand on the solar plexus. Left hand just below the lower down chin. A little bit below the belly button. Swallow saliva top twice. Follow the second swallow. Visualize it as if it's a drop of water falling into a pond that's in the lower down chin. And let the ripples bring you up as you inhale. Exhale, stage one. Exhale, deeper, stage two. Inhale, stage one. Inhale, even deeper, stage two, standing. Exhale, sink and sit, stage one. Exhale, even deeper, stage two. Hands are floating above water. Scoop the water up. Even deeper. Draw the color in. Gets even brighter in the belly. Condense it super potent and flatten to make room for more. <coughs> Get the color. It's even brighter. Now that the ether starts to overflow in the belly, compress it, becomes more potent, flatten it, stacking it, making room for more. Stay seated, six more. Remember, this is Jade Rabbit Watches the Moon. Faith that every breath you take, you get stronger. Inhaling out. White crane spreads its talons, massage the temples. Exhale, forward, in and up, sitting. Gentle grab with the crane fist. Massage the temples. Lower it and up. When you grab with the crane fist, it should feel like you're pulling the ether, almost like taffy. Now remember that the pull, the fingers stick, and the pull is happening by nature of a string pulling the wrist from the lower down chin. So inhale the string, fingers stick, string pulls wrist so that there's not a sense of jerkiness from arm strength. You want to minimize that. Washing from the belly through the shoulder blades, down the shoulders, through the arms, inch or two beyond the palms. And stay seated, and we'll add the concept of weight 
There's more weight here. No flexing, just pushing something heavy away. Again, all the color visualization and the pulley system breathing techniques are all connected. So all of them are happening simultaneously, but you can always pick one to focus on. And right now we're focusing on the weight. Three more. Inhale, draw the wrists in. <clears throat> that was White Crane spreads his talons. This is Clever Cat catches the mouse. Inhaling deep, even deeper, expand the fingertips. Even deeper, eyes on the middle finger pulling apart like taffy to the sides. Even deeper, fingers going up as if they're running through a waterfall. Capture right here. Exhale. Drop the hips. Inhale, breathless the wrist, stage one. Even deeper, energize the fingertips, stage two. Even deeper, pull apart. Two crane fists spreading apart. Even deeper, stage four. Fingers showing like claws, running through a waterfall. Capture and drop as you exhale. Stage two, stage three, pulling apart. Sh shoulder blades disappear into the upper back rather than being pulled here, here. Deeper. Stay seated. Five more. Remember, only the eyes move. I just caught myself turning my head, but it's only the eye follows the right middle finger. Capture and hold for two. Seconds. Exhale down. One more.
and snapping the whip left and right, left hand on the lower dantian, right hand on the heart, exhale, feel the color from the lower dantian, pushing through the wrists, eye goes onto the middle finger, palm facing the chest, exhale 25% of a circle, inhale, bring it up for the rest of the circle, inhale even deeper. Exhale, stage one. Breath the wrist, eye to the middle finger. Exhale, inhale, inhale even deeper. Exhale, sink as you push out. Exhale, inhale, even deeper. Exhale, sink. The wrist is aligned with the shoulder. <coughs> Exhale. Inhale. I'm going to pin you on this one. And stay seated. Six more each side. Down. And then the fingers turn into like vacuums, drawing the color in, off the arm, into the belly. You can feel the stream going up in here, pushing out from here. here. And visualize that stream to intensify it, intensify the experience. time inside. And giant hip pushes it away, emphasizing the waist movement, leaving the hips behind. We want to strengthen the waist flexibility. Exhale. Pushing forward, in and out. Inhale, standing up. Nose, elbow, wall, turn the waist, and exhale. 
if you want, you can add the ricochet massage, meaning that the ridge hand inside the thumb is massaging on the solar plexus to either the spleen or the kidney. So from here, notice there's space between, and then it bounces and goes off. Gentle space. And it might look, especially because of the camera angle, that I'm lifting the shoulder, but I'm pushing the shoulder blade in. And that's what gives this sense of lift, rather than the shoulder going up. So it's the shoulder blade that's lifting my elbow. Position for the palms in front of the heart line. Side. And stay seated. Now there's six on each side. When you stay seated, you'll feel the waist emphasis even more, the flexibility, and the strength that you get, and the massage that the organs will get from the isolation. more time each side. Lay the pushing hand flat. The bottom hand comes up. Inhaling up the inside. Lays on the arm and the palm facing up. Keep turning. Eye looking at that finger. Mine is my left arm. So it's on my by the left middle finger, turning the waist, and exhale, sink and sit, pushing and pulling, pushing away and pulling toward me. Inside hand goes on the arm, top hand pushing hand flattens, eye on the middle finger of the flat hand, turning the waist, and then exhale, uncoil, push and pull, eye on the middle finger. Do your best to keep the head still and only the eyes move. I'm going to pin you on this one too. Actually, I'll pin you in a second. Let's do a few more. Stuff. And the pull is to your rib. So whatever side is pushing, 
If it's your right hand pushing, your left hand will go right in front of, go in front of your, finish in front of your left, uh, your right rib. So my left hand is pushing, so therefore my right hand is in front of my left rib. So whatever arm is extended, when you finish, the pulling hand will be in front of the rib of the pushing arm. And then from that rib cage area, it goes up, slides right back up, comes across. Pull, push. Beautiful. And a little extra detail is that the pull stops with just a little bit of space between the rib cage and the palm. So you're not actually touching the body, uh, the rib cage. You pull right to it and then come over. Coming around. This comes right over. Come around. Oh, the legs feel a little. Let's do a few up uplifting heavens. Inhaling up, exhaling down. There we have, I think, what, one, two, three. We have four exercises left, so we're two thirds through it. Remember, if the legs ever feel a little tired, one way to get that nice little break is to inhale, shift the weight to one leg reel the color in, and then exhale, flash relaxation, kicking the legs out to the side, and switch. Switch legs, inhale, draw the color up the leg, so you really get that sense, full sensitivity, drawing the breath up the leg, and then exhale, push the color, breath through the leg, kicking down. And for the arms, Let's do this swing, yeah. a little Tai Chi swing, and remember the technique, <clears throat> flicking the fingers at the apex in front, downward, boom, and the apex behind, upward, so, vroom, 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 so, flicking the fingers, and every five, we do a little bounce in the knees, This is great for the heart, great for the shoulders. And really exhaling through it, you do that bounce to shake out tension, just to rock tension out. What is it? Anything in particular you feel in the body? I just just my typical tightness up here and here. Okay, let's take a moment and reach across. Mm. How's that feel? Good. And make sure when you do this, push that shoulder blade gently in. So we're we're extending out of the shoulder blade rather than lifting the shoulder. And a counterbalance. If you notice how relaxed my hand is here, if you want to intensify it, inhale through the fingertips, energize the fingertips essentially. So shoulder blade goes in, fingertips reach, and it's just the fingertips to finish the shape rather than the arm getting tension and reaching. So it's just the fingertips. And then you pull from behind the elbow gently. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, switch sides to counterbalance it. Again, in the beginning, you just hold, inhale deep, exhale, push through the shoulder blade <clears throat> after a few seconds, and then complete the shape, having the hand fully relaxed. It's super important to have the, the wrist very relaxed, and then to feel the difference when you energize the finger to finish the shape. And the shape is you want the arm almost reaching across the shoulder line. <clears throat> 
And of course, that shoulder line is established by you having feet parallel, imaginary string with you from the top of the head, so you have a sense of your own personal geometry. So you want to go across these these gentle lines. So here I'll hold. Yep, and and you don't have to push down. And sometimes I do do this, and what I do what what I use this for is if there's tension up here. Yeah. I do my best to minimize it and I'll take my hand and I'll softly push my shoulder down because I don't want this catching up here. Oh good. So I'll, I'll take this, because this hand, the hand that's pulling is actually up. The hand that's pulling is, is structured up. So I'll turn it down just to realign my shoulder so that if I'm doing this, I'm like, okay, hold on, let's go down, remind myself, and then from this base of the shoulder blade, the base of the scapula, I'll reach up and then finish with the fingers. So push down, come back up, reach across. Exhale, shift to the other side. Let's take a second to warm the shoulders again. And let's warm the shoulders with some, some faster movement, and since we've been doing the, the Nagon, and then we'll finish up the Nagon. How's that sound? Good, but I only have like 15 more minutes until I gotta get ready for the airport. Okay, so let's take two minutes and, and warm the shoulders, okay? Good. Ready? And we're gonna reach, reach with the fingertip, reach. Reaching, reach, reach, reach. And you can give one breath to each movement, Inhale or exhale. As you start speeding it up, you can feel free to give two stages to each breath. So inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. If you're inhaling, rising, exhaling, sinking. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. And start to loosen up on the structure, meaning that you're getting the structure the reach and then softening right away so you're getting a little bit more of the fast twitch muscle experience and essentially all we're doing here is we're starting to speed up a jab cross inhaling up exhaling down and notice that we're our visualization hasn't kicked in yet so we're doing a speed exercise a lot of people stop here with these exercises they're just going for speed and they may not even have the breath as coordinated so what we're going to start doing now is pulling the color visualization in on inhales and pushing, whipping it out on exhales. So in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. And start feeling the, the explosiveness, explosiveness coming from the lower dantian through and from the fingers back in. So in. In, out, and you can make a little fist if you want to. If you want to throw, throw the the color visualization. <clears throat> in, in, out, out, and we'll try to let's go for let's go for a hundred. So fifty each side. Jesus. <laughs> It'll warm us up, and we'll we'll stretch it right out. Okay. Ready, and go for it. <laughs> oh my god, that must have been 100. Okay, and uplifting heaven right away, capturing the breath. So the reason we're doing that is we want to warm up the shoulders so much and then <clears throat> work the breath, the visualization, and then reconnect it to this deep sensitivity right away. Two uplifting heavens. Let's do one more perfect form. 
stretching out of the back, out of the hips. And we go right into the shake. And bounce with the fifth. And come right up to a stretch. And just feel the difference in the shoulder. And remember reaching across, soften the shoulder. Just use it to push it down, reach across. And other things that will help you with the stretch, the lower back. So when you're pulling across, make sure you minimize any tension in the lower back. It's very easy to shift your weight forward and engage the suspension and bridge function of the lower back, uh, intensify it. So you want to soften, go back to the heels, and really relax and be in that passive state while doing this stretch. And shift sides. Reaching across, really check in with the weight distribution, make sure it's on the heels. Push down the shoulder if you need to. Come out of the shoulder blade and energize the fingertips to complete the shape. Inhaling out, reach across, over the shoulders. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, reaching over the shoulders. How the shoulder? How's the shoulder feel now after that? A little bit. I think it's better. Yeah. Okay. Reaching across. As much as I want to finish the yin set. I'm Ne Gong. And we can. It might be better to, if your shoulders were tight, to finish up with the shoulder Ne Gong. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about being on a flight for six hours. Yeah. So I don't want to do too much. Sure. Because, so I like the, the, that stretching and loosening up before being a sitting economy on a flight. Okay. So... <clears throat> Stretch. So you want to get into? Let's get into deep stretching then. So you're 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 you're, and you're taking a definitely when you go to the bathroom on the flight. If you get up to go to the bathroom, because sometimes I, I train myself not to, but um, if I do get up, I always 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 go to the back <laughs> or to the to the front wherever I am, and I or the middle, and I do this these stretches. So make sure that yeah. to to do the the front forty five degree, and. Um, and 90 yeah. degree stretch there. And also the holds. These holds are so important. Let, let's go right into those. Okay. Inhaling up. First, let's reach fingers back, chest up, hips forward, weight on the toes. Exhale, butt back, fingers forward. On the heels, soften the neck, soften the knees. Inhale, breath lifts the wrists, wrists lift the body. So, remember, just take one moment and watch me do it so that it can, this will help with the lower back too. Yeah. So, here I'll pin for a second. Because you want to make sure that you're, you're engaging a chain reaction. And so here, breath lifts the wrists. Then all of a sudden, fingertips engage. So that's a stage two inhalation. And then reaching my chest. So fingers are going back, chest going up, hips going forward, weight on the toes. Exhale, butt back, fingers forward. So notice the back, the butt is going out. So I really get that pelvis rotating on the femur. And then once I'm here, soften the head and bend the knees so that I can lift the wrists again, inhaling up and pelvis rotating on the femur so that my back isn't bending. My fingers are going to energize here, reaching across, over the head, behind me, chest goes up, hips forward, weight on the toes. Exhale. So pelvis rotating on the femur. So this is going to help you not have to, uh, have to bend the back. So breath lifts the wrists, and the wrists are pulling your hips up. And the shirt makes it look like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm slouching a bit, but the back is flat here. A 
So let me just watch you again with that one. And let me know how that feels, too. So two notes, two notes. Uh, first note is when going down, do your best to feel like Superman. So you're inhaling up, reaching back, exhaling, think about flying upward and outward. So the arms are reaching up and out as you go down. As you come up, bending the knees, think about the hips going in as the wrists come up, so by nature, the, it's as if, if, if I was there, I would take my hand, I would put my hands, one hand on your wrists, and other hand on your hip, and I'd lift and pull. So you essentially, you're getting this motion, this exact motion that we do in this stretch, is, mm -hmm. is happening to the hips, as if one hand is pushing the hips, and the other hand is lifting your arms. So, boom. So what I mean by that is here, hands, hip, watch how the hip goes forward yep. as the wrists go up to counterbalance and maintain the posture. Great, lift the, you know, get the wrists a little higher earlier, it'll help to counterbalance, exactly. So as you're going up, the wrists are, are good stuff, reaching behind. And exhale forward, flying, pushing the color visualization through the fingertips, like you're painting with them. And as you go down, softening the chin, the neck, yep. And then bend the knees and inhale, breathless the wrists. Great, one more note now for alignment. When you're down, once you're down here and you bend the knees, Imagine the shoulders and the wrists aligned. If the shoulders and the wrists stay aligned the entire time while you're lifting up, the hip going in will be easier. See how my wrists stay shoulder level yeah. the entire time? That's going to help. And then you energize the fingertips and roll over. Let's go for one more time. Beautiful. Good stuff. Excellent. Excellent. Great. And going right into our next stretch with the one foot forward. Yeah, but always come up from those slowly, inhaling and coming up slowly. And one foot forward, other foot parallel behind you back. Exhale, wash the color down the leg. Inhale, switch legs. And you can reach on these too. There's, you can push color down or you can reach up and exhale, extend down. Whatever you feel like you need in the body in that particular time. So we'll do 45 degrees and I'll do an extension. So inhaling up, exactly. So we're doing a similar type of extension that we were just doing in the other stretch, the grasping the toes stretch, which is what we were doing first. And then 90 degrees, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, switch 90 degrees, exhaling. Inhaling up, same thing here, you can keep the arms up, take one leg, step behind, and exhale, wash down. And inhaling up, when I inhale up, the same concept of the wrists lifting my hips and the wrists staying shoulder height until, at the very least, and then I switch legs, exhaling down. Both feet parallel. Exhale, wash down. Inhale up, turn to the right. Exhale, wash down. 
Inhale up, turn to the left. Up down. Inhale up, really extend the fingers over the head and behind the back. Exhale it down. And slap it up. Up the inside, down the outside. Slapping up the inside, down the outside, over the shoulders. Down the back. Inhaling up. Exhale down three times. And let's make sure we don't forget single leg. Stand and pull behind. Suck in the belly button, lift the collarbone. Hips and shoulders square. Inhale deep. Exhale, dropping the knee, opening the hip. Inhale, toe reaching to the ceiling. Exhale, knee falls, opens the hip. Inhale, pull back, toe reaches to the ceiling. Exhale, drop down, switch sides. Suck in the belly button first. Collarbone, then shift the weight. Inhale deep, exhale, knee falls, opens the hip. Inhale, toes reach the ceiling, pull back. Exhale, knee falls, opens the hip. Inhale, toe reaches the ceiling, pull back. Exhale, drop down. And then take opposite hand and foot, thumb facing outward for whatever hand, and grab the opposite foot. Step back so you can see. Belly button, collarbone, lifting up. Inhale, lift the knee out and the toe up. Open the shoulder. Exhale, soften the hip. Inhale, lift the knee, open the shoulder and the toe. Exhaling down, switch sides. Belly button in, collarbone up, shifting the weight. Make sure the whatever arm, thumb is facing outward so the palm stays forward. Switch, belly button, collarbone, inhale, knee, toes lift, shoulder opens, exhale through the hip, softening, belly button, collarbone, inhale, lift up, knee goes up and out, toe goes up, exhale, soften the hip, and relax, and around the chest, Tapping around the sternum, either side of the collarbone, palm, collarbone and chin, counterbalance the back of the neck, knuckles on the Kidneys circle down, down, down to the hip line. Strong pressure going back up. And then reverse it on the kidneys. Going down to the hip line. And going back up. Up on the face. To the side, release. Up to the side, release. Up to the side, release. Under the shin. Switch. Up, over, down, under for the immune system, strong pressure. Fingers to the scalp, front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front. Massage, front to back, back to front. Slapping, front to back, back to front. Hollow fist, gentle banging, front to back, back to front. Grab the scalp, knead it like that. Next patch, next patch, next patch, next patch, and reverse it. And top of the forehead, one, two, reverse it, one, two, temples, one. Reverse it. Under the eyes. One. Reverse it. The nail 
in the groove between the eyeball and the bone, tapping, tap, 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 to the outside, up and over, inward, second circle bigger, tap, tap, tap. Feel all the pressure points, third circle biggest. Middle finger on the eyebrows, one, two, three. Bridge of the nose, side of the nose. The nostrils above the incisors. Middle finger for the heart, one, two. Again, one, two. press that button. Above and below it goes, one, two. Switch, side of the gums, below. Tongue, reverse it, press and hold, and drill, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, top and bottom, and sides, top and bottom, sides, top and bottom, sides, top and bottom, sides, top and bottom, Sides, other side, press and hold, and drill. One, two, three, tap around. One, two, three, top and bottom, and sides. Top, bottom, sides. And flick the fingers out. One, thumbs. One, two, three, grab. Close the eyes, inhale, white light. Spread the whole body. Oh. Two more. Big bubble of light. Oh. One more. As far as you can go with the light. Too, for the body, the space, the people in your life, and for your wonderful trip. I wish you an amazing trip, man. <laughs> love you Thank so much. You. All right. So let me know if you're if we're up for tomorrow. Um. Yeah, I'll text yeah, you. Yeah, text me. Time I'm meeting us. Okay. Thanks, man. Love you so much, man. Have a great flight. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. What's going on? What's going on, everyone? So, cool. I mean, thanks. So many folks are joining. That's really fantastic. Uh, my my viewership was down, like uh, you know, because of, of me taking a little break on uh, Thanksgiving. But it's cool that it's back up. <clears throat> so, anyway, I love you guys. Um, if you have any thoughts, questions, ideas, as usual, uh, I love teaching Tai Chi. I'm Coach Jan, and uh, I just massaged my scalp. Which always yields a uh, uh, you know messy hair. So massage your scalp, super important. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a little more stretching. A little more stretching here. I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to do this. This is like one of my favorite exercises right now, and I used to just think of it as a stretch or as an exercise to do with your hands, like with no hands, which is awesome. Um, I've, I've, my son can do it very easily, uh, but putting your palms down and turning it into like an ab workout for me has been pretty awesome. And that's really how I get proficient at a lot of, um, calisthenic exercises <clears throat> or shared many times. And I share 15s because, uh, you do like, let's say 15 jump jacks, 15 push ups, 15 sit ups, and then 14, 13, 12, 11, the same set all the way down. That's the basic set. And then you can add any exercises you want into that. And the cool thing is you're doing a certain number at your own pace and you're finishing, you know, this pyramid, it's called pyramid style workout. You're finishing this pyramid <clears throat> and it's, um, you feel really great when you, when you accomplish, when you do it. And when I add an exercise like this, which I started doing last week, um, I just feel really, really great about it. So I'm just, sh I'm showing you the exercise. But I'm also kind of doing it. Um, I am doing it uh, as a, 
means to just soften the hips up after some good Tai Chi training with one of my uh, great buddies. So I highly recommend this. You've probably seen it before. If you haven't, um, notice that I'm, you'll notice that I'm keeping my foot a little flexed rather than soft and keeping it a little flexed to protect my knee and uh, flexed and pointed in the same direction as the knee. And I'm not flexing the entire time, I'm flexing on the side bend that I don't feel as flexible in. So when I feel a little, um, you know, any sense of like potential danger, I uh, um, safeguard the knees. And that's what's been help, helped me for many, many, for my entire life. Uh, martial career has been, uh, you know, focused on making sure I protect my knees because my father had challenges with his knees, even though he's like, you know, four time martial arts world champion, you know, more than me. Um, he's had challenges with his knees in the past from basketball and from football. And I'm like, okay, well, how can I avoid some of those challenges because of deeper awareness because we have better information now than when he was training at that particular time uh, in those sports. So, yeah, make sure I keep my my foot flexed only when it's twisting the knee. Uh, and I've heard, uh, you know, a bunch of my trainer friends have told me that before too, to make sure that you just keep the, uh, your foot, if you're doing like a stretch like this, for example, um, where the knee is coming inward and you want to get the, the knee parallel to the shoulder, just make sure you flex the, the foot rather than keep it soft and straight this way. I'm flexing it toward my kneecap to protect the knee joint. So I'm gonna do this stretch because I felt some tightness. I had a really, uh, if you saw my Insomniac Tai Chi, I didn't change the title too. If you came to watch this stream, um, I didn't change the title from yesterday morning when I woke up at like 4.50 in the morning because I was fasting a 36 hour fast and when I fast I, uh, I feel more energized so I, I sleep less and um, I slept earlier too so I slept actually pretty pretty wonderfully from like 9 something until like 4am got up and said to myself I need to do Tai Chi yoga and meditation so I did that for two and a half hours streaming on YouTube on uh, TikTok and bunch of folks joined which is awesome so <clears throat> like I said I love sharing this stuff and if you ever have a thought question or idea I am here to answer in the best of my capabilities so and I'm always happy to make you a video uh, to answer them so that's what I'm going to do right after this I'm going to finish up a, a, a Tai Chi video <clears throat> and then I'm going to get back on Justice for Hire editing. If you haven't seen Justice for Hire, that's our show. Uh, we just put out a new episode. We're doing weekly episodes now at Justice for Hire on TikTok. It's at Justice for Hire everywhere. But anybody can join the cast. It's like a martial arts cinematic universe that we're building with the community worldwide where anyone can be a hero or a villain or a client that hires them in a world that's like Uber for heroes where you can hire a hero or become one and get paid. So super fun stuff. And, you know... If you like martial arts action, I uh, highly recommend watching. It's fun. Um, there's some important ideas that we're sharing in it uh, about society and culture. And um, I really just deeply enjoy it. And it's a life passion for me. So I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will be back streaming tomorrow. Thanks, everybody who joined. And thank you for watching. Who's watching right now?